Good evening. This is Minister Ann Watson. And I'd like to take this time to address the body of Christ concerning the reliable promises of Elohim. Apostle George and Pastor Grace has asked me to do this video to um, encourage the brethren during this time of the coronavirus and the COVID-19 pandemic. Amen. Let me let us pray. Let me pray. Father, I thank you. I praise you. I give you the glory. I give you the honor. For you alone are worthy and worthy of all praise, glory, and honor. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that as I present this video, Lord God, that it will bring glory and honor unto you. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that I may decrease and you may increase so that the brethren, Lord God, will be able to hear, Lord God, exactly what you desire them to hear. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. If I was to title this um, message, it would be God's promises and... and um, it would be God's promises and the and through the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I think about the word of God, I, I'm reminded of the scripture in Romans 10, 17 that speaks of uh, having faith. Amen. It says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. And when I think about hearing, I'm thinking that God is speaking to me and there's something he wants me to hear or receive through his word. Amen. Because we know that his word is a lamp into our feet and light into our path, able to lead and guide us by his truth. Amen. Hallelujah. John 10 and 10 says that the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy. But we know that God came us to give us abundant life and life more abundantly. Amen. So even during this time of, excuse me, of, excuse me, of uh, the coronavirus, we're to still believe in the promises that God says we're to, we can live an abundant life. Amen. That we're not to fear or allow the things that are going on around us to, um, to sway us in any way, you know, um, second Timothy, um, one and seven tells us that God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Amen. So when I think about how he wants us to have a sound mind, that means that we're to be sound in our thinking, um, that we're not allow anything to um, to embark to embark upon our minds that he doesn't want us to think about amen and you know he reminded us in Philippians 2 and 7 I'm sorry 2 and 5 where the Lord tells us to um, think as he thinks you know amen and then in um, the same, um, the same book, which is in Philippians four and eight, it tells us what kind of things to think on. And those things would be, um, think on things that are lovely and just and honest and pure, you know, and when we think on those things and even the good report, which is the report of the Lord, which is his word that comes to tell us how to think and how to live. Amen. So, I'm thankful for God's word. Amen. And in John, in John 14, 6, Jesus said to us, he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. And the way is to the truth. And the truth is to life. And we can't have life if we don't um, know the way. And we can't have truth if we don't receive it from our Lord. Amen. Because he's the only one that can give us the truth that we need. Amen. Hallelujah. 
I'm reminded of a promise also in God's word where it says he would never leave us nor forsake us. So during this time of the pandemic, we're to not to worry about whether the father is not with us or or when we're alone, we feel alone because as long as we have him, we'll never be alone. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. First Peter 5 and 7 tells us that and promises that the Lord will take care of us. Even through this pandemic, we're not to want for anything because he's, he's our heavenly father. And we know how fathers are. Fathers come to take care of their children. They make sure that they have exactly what they need. And our father is no different. Amen. Except he's a heavenly father. And everything he has for us is eternal. And everything he gives to us will last. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hebrews um, 11 and 1 tells us to um, that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the, and the evidence of things not seen. Well, we know that we don't know exactly what the Father's doing. We're not um, um, to be concerned about that. We're just to have faith in him because we know that he's always in control. No matter what we see going on around us, no matter what is happening around us, no matter what the news says, we're to have faith in him at all times. Amen. Hallelujah. In that same chapter, um, Hebrews 11 and 6, it tells us that it's impossible for us to please him if we don't have faith in him. So we have to have faith in everything that he does. Amen. And I love how the word comes to tell us the truth and the truth that makes us free. Amen. That's found in John 8.32. And it makes us free indeed. So we're free to believe the reliable promises of our Father in his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, Matthew 28 and 20, it reminds us that he will never leave us nor forsake and that he will be with us to the ends of the ages. Well, we're in the end of the ages. Amen, brothers and sisters. We might we might as well um, uh, re realize that and know that uh, we're in the end of the ages, and that but we're to rely on His promise that He will be with us to the end. Amen. Hallelujah. Ephesians five and twenty tells us to give thanks in everything. So we're to be thankful even for this time of this pandemic because it's allowed, I know for me, it has allowed me to get closer to my father. Amen. Because, you know, with all this, all the things that are going on around us, the sickness, the death, the news, you name it, everything that comes that is, that is being said is all negative news. But we have the good news, hallelujah, the good news of Jesus Christ, which is his word and his reliable promises that are in his word. So we're to be thankful for that time. I know for me, it's given me an opportunity to spend more time with him, to be, to be in devotions with him, to study his word so that I can know what to do during this time. So I can know um, whether to let it bother me, let it, may, may I have fear, may I have joy, whatever his word gives me all those promises and also gives me direction and guidance to be able to live through this time, this pandemic. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm thankful for this time. I'm thank you for, for I'm thankful for this lockdown because it's allowed me to draw closer to the Lord. Amen. And, um, he's, um, you know, he says, us, he tells us in his word that he wants us to draw nigh to him and he will draw nigh to us. So the closer we get to him, the deeper we get into him, the closer he's going to get to us. Amen. So I'm thankful for this time. You know, I don't know about anyone else, but I know that I am. Hallelujah. And I thank him for it. Um, Romans 12, 1 and 2 tells us to present our bodies as living sacrifices holy and acceptable before the father, you know, that it is our reasonable service to do that. And when he's telling us to do that, he's talking about how we're to give our minds, our hearts, our spirits, our soul, everything about us, even during this time where it's so difficult and challenged, challenging for us, 
we are to give ourselves to the Lord because, um, you know, we could, you know, before all this happened, we were every place. We were all over the place. We were doing this and doing that, giving our times to this, giving our times to that. But now he has us in this, in this lockdown and he has us in this COVID-19. And I'm telling you, it has stopped all of that. So now we don't have a choice. You know, yes, he's not going to override our wills. He's not going to make us do anything. But this is a time where we're to consecrate before the Lord and get ourselves right with him. Because uh, I know a lot of us, including me, there have been things that I shouldn't have been doing. You know, places I shouldn't have been going. You know, but now he has me inside, locked down. I can't go nowhere. So. I'm thankful. I am so thankful because it's it's drawn me even closer to him. Amen. Hallelujah. And the second part of Romans 12, which is Romans 12 and 2, it tells us to be, con be not conformed to this world. Amen. To renew our minds. Amen. So that we may prove what that which is good, the acceptable and the perfect will of God. Well, his perfect will is that we be connected to him and not this world. So he can direct us, guide us, lead us by his Holy Spirit as to where he wants us to be. Because as long as we're attached to this world and the things of this world, he won't get our attention. He won't have our attention. But I thank the Lord that he has given us this time to do that. Amen. I'm thinking about how Colossians 3 and 2 tells us to set our affections on things above and not on not on not on the things of this earth so he wants us to think on the things that are eternal amen because everything on this earth is temporal it's passing away amen so if we set our affections on the things above in heaven where he is you know we'll always be living the eternal life the life that he has promised us the life that's to come when he comes back to get us in the rapture, but we can still live that now. We can still have that heavenly mindset. Amen. Amen. So I just want to thank everyone for this opportunity for me to address the body of Christ and to let them know that there's hope because as long as we're in Christ, we have hope. We have him. He will never leave us nor forsake us. He will always be there for us. He will be there through this pandemic and the next one, if there's another one, because we've been, just think about how many pandemics we've been through and he's taken us through them all. Hallelujah. Thank the father for that. Amen. So if I was to leave you with a theme, which would be the theme, behold, he comes. Hallelujah. He's coming. Uh, the Lord is coming back. And, be, and while he's coming back, he wants us to be ready for the return of him coming. So this is this time we're in right now is a part of that preparation time. Amen. And um, so during that time, we're to watch, pray, and occupy. Do and occupy meaning to do what he's called us to do, whatever that may be, you know, whatever your calling, whatever your gift is, whatever the wherever the Father has you right now, whatever position you in. Occupy, keep your lamps full, hallelujah, hallelujah. Keep your hands to the plow, continue to watch and pray because he's soon to come, amen, amen. I um, I pray that there was something that I said that would encourage you during this time because we all need to be encouraged and we all need each, uh, each other and we are most assuredly, <laughs> We need the Lord. Amen. And I'm just thankful for his word that continually gives us promises that we can hold on to. We can anchor ourselves and we can um, be still and know that he's God. Amen. Because he is that. And so when he tells us to be still like this time we're in, this is a time to be still. And just let him talk to us through what's going on, through his word, through his promises. So I thank you. And I, um, I hope that there was something that I, that I said to you that would encourage you and 
keep you lifted up and, and keep you looking towards the Lord because he is our, he's the answer to this pandemic. He's the answer to why he have us still right now because he's preparing us for better things, better things are yet to come. This is going to pass. Amen. I don't know when. Only he knows the answer to that. Amen. But we're to stay close to him and um, continue to watch, continue to pray, and continue to occupy doing what he's called us all to do. So I thank you. So let us let me let us let me pray us out. Father, I thank you. I praise you. I give you the glory. I give you the honor. I thank you, Father, for this opportunity, Lord God, just to share some share your word with the people, Lord God, so they will be enlightened and they will know that they can depend on you and rely on you and that you are there to take care of them, protect and keep them and uh, watch over them as you always do, as you do each and every day, Lord. When we get up and we have breath, we know that we know that we are able to do that, Father, because you saw it fit for us to have that today, Lord God, and every day, Lord God. So, Father, I thank you, and I praise you, and I give you the glory, and I give you the honor. It is in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, everyone. Have a great afternoon, and, and keep looking to the Father. Amen. Keep looking to his word and his reliable promises. Thank you so much. Have a good evening. Bye now.